Welcome to Adventure 8 Tour of Antarctica. We are flying from Sydney to Argentina to Buenos Aires and then down to Ushuaia. Our first stop is in Buenos Aires, the birthplace of the tango. We have four days in Buenos Aires to acclimatize to different time zones before we'll be heading south down to Ushuaia. There is much to do in Buenos Aires. Friendly, passionate people. Spectacular European architecture. Antarctica is the seventh continent of the world and the last frontier. It is one of the largest land masses in the world almost twice the size of Australia or United States. It is the least populated landmass on the planet with only a thousand people. However, there are around 12 million penguins. Our journey is to the tip of the Antarctica Peninsula, some three and a half thousand kilometers or over 2,000 miles from the South Pole. To get there, it's a two-day journey by boat across the dangerous Drake Passage down from Cape Horn. Ushuaia is a three and a half hour flight, almost uh, 4,000 kilometers south of Buenos Aires. It is the southernmost town in the world, also the capital of adventure in South America. Great opportunity to go bushwalking, kayaking, uh, skiing in wintertime, and using it as a base for adventure holidays, including Antarctica. New host for the trip. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we've been waiting for this. Actually, we're speaking to all the guests on uh, the ship. This is the once-in-a-lifetime trip for most people uh, visiting the Antarctica. We're in Ushuaia right now. Uh, where the weather has been unusually warm. Yeah, t-shirts. 18 or 20 degrees. Uh, we had a guide yesterday who said, "Look, there's only two seasons in um, Ushuaia, and that is." freezing cold snow or summer sun freezing cold um, so we've had completely opposite now um, we're going to be crossing the Drake Strait Drake's Passage, Drake's Passage. <laughs> apparently we hit it about one o'clock this morning so um, there's been already a lot of warning signs saying that if you suffer from seasickness or likely to be suffering the then the start taking your patches now just had the lifeboat, emergency lifeboat drill. Um, the process is that you've got to put on a number of layers. It's actually starting to rain. We've had beautiful weather up to this point.
This is the famous crossing from Cape Horn across the Drake Passage and uh, normally renowned for its wild weather, rough crossings, huge seas, 10 meter waves. As you can see, it's flat. And we're cruising along at about seven knots. We're on one motor right now, no need to use two motors. It's so easy, so apparently this is very, very, very rare. We just sailed back out of there. We got in just across the Drake last Cape Horn yesterday. We were in the area we're going to go two days ago. It looks really good, as it always does. It's pristine, it's early season, it's snow, there's a few penguins around, a bit odd whale. There's lots of the things waiting for us. It's fantastic. My name is David Begg. I'm your expedition leader, and I work with an expedition staff to organize and run this expedition for you, to do our best to keep it safe, to make it enjoyable. It's been the mildest Drake Passage crossing ever. No doubt that will change on our return journey. But now we're here for eight days um, exploring the coastline and uh, going out in these zodiacs. You can just see in the background coming in. Um, our first um, call onto land will be to see the Gen 2 penguins. It's about minus one or one degree. Minus one probably onshore, it's about uh, one degree here out in the water. Um, we've had uh, killer whale sightings this morning, um, we've had um, a fin whale and blue whale sightings going across the Drake Passage and there's uh, much more exciting stuff in store as well. There's been a lot of uh, training happening over the last two days to make sure that we know the processes and procedures to be able to do all this journey safely but also uh, to control the spread of disease. Uh, we're going to have a challenge uh, obviously keeping all the camera gear dry uh, using the underwater camera right now so that's pretty good for these sort of conditions and we'll be going out in the zodiac shortly. On these uh, Antarctica expeditions we have all sorts of teams uh, here. We've got the skiing team, we've got the photographic team and we've also got a film team, a, a documentary uh, TV host here uh, from uh, Taiwan as well. I'll let you introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Marina Pai. I'm the Taiwanese TV producer and presenter. It's uh, been very nice traveling with everybody. Uh, first time in Antarctica, very exciting. So good to see Penguin today. Excellent. So yeah. now it's a good time to start learning Mandarin uh, because <laughs> um, um, Marina's uh, film will be on YouTube eventually. Yes. Is that right? YouTube, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Fantastic. I think this one has been affected by penguinitis. I think so too. <laughs> the first symptoms are there.
we've been going out morning and afternoon to different islands and hiking and photographing, um, snowshoeing, some people have been kayaking and uh, overnight camping. Uh, we've got skiers and we've also got mountain climbers here. So it's exciting, we've got another um, five days here and then we'll have another two days to cross the uh, Drake Passage again uh, back to Ushuaia. Exciting to say the least and we've had some perfect conditions, um, overcast, we have snow, uh, a lot of ice flows and uh, needless to say lots and lots of penguins.
you came down here to Antarctica, you're brave enough, you're all light catchers, all these souls here, and you're just receiving that. We're glowing. We're going to go home and tell our stories. So, thank you.
weeks ago it was uh, 25 degrees Celsius and we've done uh, Antarctica now and um, boy have we got a change of weather now.